All right, everyone, back here for another video. So what the heck is going on? Crypto is down 20%, Nvidia is down 10%. The entire world markets are down. Japanese stocks are taking, everything's taking. So in the next few minutes, guys, I'm gonna explain every single thing that's going on so you guys can make money. So today, on this massive, massive panic day, I made $17,000. I'm gonna put a link down below so you guys can see that profit. So let's talk about what's going on. So there's a couple different factors happening here, right? So number one is this, the Bank of Japan allows people to borrow money at a 0% interest rate. So what big bankers and big players would do is they go to the Bank of Japan, take out and borrow $100 million and then put it into stocks, bonds, crypto, whatever. And because the interest rate was 0%, they would only have to pay back the principal. And whatever profits they made on all these other investments were in their pocket. Well, that was going well for a long time until the Bank of Japan said they're raising their interest rates. So now money is no longer free to borrow. So all those people that invested that money now are trying to sell to pay back the principal plus the interest. That's number one. Number two is tech stock earnings were not good. You know, you have stocks like Microsoft that went down, Tesla that went down, Apple that went down, Micron, AMD, so the big sector of tech and AI went down, right? So you have multiple, multiple, multiple things cascading together. Additionally, you had news over the weekend that Warren Buffett sold 50% of his Apple stock. Why did Warren Buffett sell 50% of his Apple stock? Well, my idea, just speculation, is that he knows that the Federal Reserve is gonna start to drop interest rates really, really soon and what he wants to do is take that cash and put it into treasury bills at a 5% interest rate because he knows that the moment that the Federal Reserve starts raising rates, that he's not gonna be able to get interest like that ever again. So my thought process is Warren Buffett is taking his money out of all the stocks. He has a record of I think $200 billion in cash right now. He could buy every single football team and every single baseball team and still have enough to buy five more basketball teams, right? So what I think Warren Buffett is doing is he's taking his money to put into treasury bills. But for us traders, Apple is down because of that, right? So you have the Bank of Japan stuff, interest rates. You have tech earnings, you have Apple. Now what's next? Nvidia came out with news that they're delaying their recent chip. Okay, if that wasn't bad enough, people are saying that we might be entering a recession and the Federal Reserve is taking way too long to cut interest rates, right? So the Federal Reserve was way too slow to raise interest rates. So people are expecting that they're gonna be way too slow to drop interest rates, right? You know, people are saying recession, this recession, that. In my opinion, we've been in a recession, man. We've been in a recession for the last year, year and a half, maybe even two years. The thing that you guys need to understand is the moment that the media, the news starts saying that we're in a recession, that is the bottom of the market, right? They're always six months to a year way too late. So I'm actually loving that all these big people are calling recession this, recession that, because that's gonna signal the bottom. We've been in a recession. There's been people that have had no money for a long time. Business has been slow for a long time. It didn't just start now, right? It's been happening for a year. So you have all these different cascading effects causing a panic, 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 panic in the market. Bitcoin is down 10%, Ethereum is down 20%, every single type of asset class is down, right? So how did I make $17,000 today? I'll explain it and you guys will understand. So number one is this. So we have a pattern in MIC, right? So the same way that stocks go parabolic to the upside, there are stocks that goes parabolic to the downside. And in our case, the indexes went parabolic to the downside. So we have a rule in MIC that if a stock goes up three days in a row, right? Chances are that third day of a gap up is potentially gonna signal the top and end up to a reversal. The same thing in large cap stocks. If you look at the S&P 500, this morning's gap down was day three of the gap down, right? So I thought that there was very, very high risk to reward expected value to the upside because of the day three gap down, right? I had five, 10 friends text me over the weekend, should I sell, should I sell? And I think we were kind of at maximum panic, maximum fear. The VIX, the volatility index, has never been up this high since the pandemic, right? Which I think is overdone as well. So 
you have all these multiple fear factors, fear factor, fear factor. And what ends up happening is I love the quote by Warren Buffett, right? Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So when the entire world is free, uh, when the entire world is uh, fearful today, that is my signal to be greedy and to go long. So what I did is I ended up buying the dip on these stocks. I had my watch list to buy Tesla at the open, to buy Coinbase at the open, and to buy Nvidia at the open. While I'm recording this, Coinbase is up $25 a share, Tesla's up $20 a share, Nvidia is up $10 a share, and that's how I made my 17,000. So I'm gonna put a photo in the description so you guys can look at that as well. But that's basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to capitalize on the fear that people are having, but I'm not just blindly opening my eyes and buying. I wanna see the same things I look for on the short side, but the inverse for the long side. I wanna see higher lows on the long side rather than lower highs on the short side. I wanna see a VWAP reclaim on the long side rather than a VWAP break on the short side, right? And I want to trade the stock on the long side that I believe is the strongest in the sector. In the AI sector, there's no stock stronger than Nvidia. So I trade that. Whereas if you're trading you know, some of these scam companies, you wanna choose a stock that's you know, the biggest scam. So for me today, it was almost a very clear, you know, I wouldn't say an easy day, but it was more of a clear cut day of coming into the market, making a plan and capitalizing it. And right now, guys, right now is when you wanna to start to capitalize and learn how to play both sides of the market, right? You don't wanna just be a guy that makes money when stocks go up because there's gonna be opportunities like this when stocks go down that you could really capitalize as well, right? So you don't wanna be just pigeonholed into the long side of the market. You wanna also learn the short side of the market. If your IRA is suffering, if your long-term investments are suffering, we will teach you how to make sure that you could short against it as a hedge right? Make some money on the downside and then use that money that you made on the downside to reinvest, you know, for the long-term stock. So I talked to the team and we decided to do a 10% off discount for anyone that wants to join the club. Basically, I go on Zoom live stream every single day. So every single day with no delay at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., you get to watch me trade live in front of all of our members no delay. Every single member that was watching me trade live today made money on NVIDIA. So what we're going to do is we're going to include that for free for one month in addition to a 10% discount, which is going to be in the link in the description below. So you'll be able to see our accelerator course. You'll be able to see what it's like to be a club member. And you'll be able to watch me trade live for 30 days for a discount because I think the market's so crazy. You guys got to learn how to trade right now. You guys got to learn how to short. So Let's talk about some other factors, right? What do you do when this action happens in the market? How do you capitalize, right? Because right now, as I'm recording this video, we're getting the stocks to kind of chop around. They're right in the middle of the range, right? So I don't think that this is just a one day thing. This may be multiple, multiple days of either selling or multiple, multiple days of rebounding, right? So the thing is, I wouldn't come to the market uh, with a game plan at night I would come to the market with a game plan in the morning because you don't know what type of news catalyst there's gonna be. Is Israel gonna to go to war? Is Warren Buffett gonna sell more stocks? Is you know uh, Kamala Harris gonna get assassinated? What the heck's gonna happen, right? So you don't know. So I'm not really in the boat of making a plan the night before because there's so many news factors that could affect these stocks. I would rather make a plan when the market is pre-market setting up that way, all the news catalysts have come out and I know exactly what to expect, right? And people have been asking me again about Warren Buffett and Apple, what I think about it, what I don't. Reality is, the guy's a multiple, multiple billionaire. He's got more money than me. If he's selling stocks, chances are, stocks are probably gonna be going down for a little bit longer, right? A little bit longer, right? He's the billionaire for a reason. So maybe Warren Buffett is calling a top on the market. And if he's calling a top on the market, you better learn how to short so you could capitalize on the downside. So. My thought process, my game plan for the rest of the week is let's see what these stocks do. Do they end up finding a base and rebounding higher? You know, Nvidia has earnings next week. Is it gonna save the market? I don't know. But all I know is as of today, the market is very, very extended to the downside. So I'm looking for rebounds on some of the best stocks, Apple, Nvidia, Tesla, Microsoft, right? And same thing as a short bias trader. If the market's upside extended, you wanna to start to sell. So I wanna kinda of use this video as like a diary of the price action. So let's kinda of check back in next week to see where these stocks have gone, what's going on, and yeah. So what I'm also gonna do is at the end of the video, I'm gonna include some live trading videos as well. So you guys can see exactly what live trading is about. 
But other than that, please leave a comment with the next video lesson topic that you want to see. And maybe later this week, I'll come on and make another video. So I want to keep these videos short and sweet. I want you guys to actually watch them and actually learn from them. So leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what type of content you want to see from me. I just want to get this video out because I know a lot of people are asking about this stuff.